Hi, welcome again. This is the fifth video of our course Numerical Analysis for Computer Engineers. And in the last video, at the end of the last video, we find we found these values. The, when we compare the three different finite difference approach, right? We have forward difference approach and backward backward difference approach and central difference approach, but all these two approximations are for the first order. You know, we started with we started with the Tyler expansion, and for the central difference approach, we started with the Tyler expansion of f around x plus h over two around x. Sorry. Tyler expansion of f function of x plus h over 2 around x. So this becomes fx plus h over 2 f prime x plus h square over 8 the second derivative of x plus h cube over 48 the third derivative of fx plus h to the power of 4 over 384 the fourth derivative of x and also for f x minus h over 2 around x f x minus h over 2 f prime plus h square over 8 the second derivative of x minus h cube over 48 the third derivative of x plus h to the power of 4, 384, and the fourth derivative of fx, and minus cos. And now, <coughs> we take the just the first term from this equation and find this equation. Central, but first central first central difference approach but we can increase sorry we can increase the order of our approach so we can find another function including more terms so we, maybe we can find a better definition for our errors. So I'm gonna take my webcam to this corner to use the area. All right. So as I take the second terms, including the first terms, so I get a uh, definition for the derivative of the function as let me use another car for for example f prime x equals to from this equation 27 x plus h over 2 plus f sorry there is an f here let's write it from the beginning f x plus h over 2 plus f x minus three and a half to 
27. F X minus H over 2 minus F X plus 3 over 2 H over 24 times H. This is the second central difference approach. And now I'm going to implement this equation into my code and compare uh, compare this one with the first order approaches. First forward, first backward, and first central difference approximations. All right. So I'm going to add this. Insert cell below. All right. Def second CD and F X and H and return. Let's write it the last part first twenty four times H. And this part will be I'm going to use my method <laughs> minus and minus. We have four terms. F x plus no I don't want to use sticky case f plus please be careful use this one 3 times h over 2 this is correct right All right, and this is this is the same with the second term, but this sign will be minus. All right. And now this term, I have a weird method. You don't have to use, you don't have to write like this you can use your your own method f x minus h over 2 all right now we have the same term here with a plus here is this true? I think it's true. This one is okay. And I'm going to add second CD's absolute values between second CD F, X, and H minus the analytical expression for h in the values eight all right oops we have an error but where is it
Okay, run from the beginning. All right, it's not an error. Now, <clears throat> it's from uh, it's from the facts that Python is an interpreted language, so you should start from the beginning if you change something like me. So here we are gonna add another slot for our error for the second central difference 1.16f and it means we want to see 16 digits uh, at the right part of the decimal number after the point and here for second CD in second CDs and here second CD alright I'm gonna use this area does it matter yes it is yes it is it's much better how can we understand if it is much better it's much better here you see here with this value now we have two four six eight ten and eleven zeros after the point at the right part of the decimal point and we have now about uh, four four times smaller error with the second central difference approach with a smaller not smaller with a larger h all right now our best value for h is 10 to the minus 4 and we have four times better error with a larger h now we don't have to use 10 to the minus 5 it's just enough to use 10 to the minus 4 for the value of h if we use second central difference approach and i don't give you the i don't give you an homework for this part but uh, maybe you can compare the same thing for the forward and backward approach or maybe you can uh, find the third central difference approach the definition for the third central difference approach to take uh, the other terms from the Taylor expansion to find the exact solution and you can increase the order of our central difference approximation and you can find smaller much smaller errors uh, with the larger h values it's possible all right it's not an homework but i think you want to uh, find these values